Good evening to all my loving children of 8th standard. Good evening to all. So, sh we shall have a brief recap of last class. We have covered the chapter on computer networking, the first chapter, the network applicable areas where all it is applicable, the computer networking and its components, the data communication and its parts. It has five parts, message, sender, receiver, transmission medium and protocol, advantages of networking, disadvantages of networking and about personal area network and local area network. Isn't it children? We have covered these topics in the last class. I hope everybody remembers these topics. We have done a worksheet also based on these topics. Okay. I know children you all will be getting bored listening to the theoretical session. It is not that interesting like flowcharts and all isn't it. Flowcharts I think most of them were, were interestingly doing it and uh, sending me those flowcharts. But theoretical session also you have to do it children. You have to understand these basic concepts. Understand it well and then let us move on to the next chapter like number systems and all that is also very interesting like flowcharts you will be finding it very interesting and informative the conversion of number system has same as in flowcharts so after this theoretical session is over after this particular chapter is over we shall see about the number system which will be very interesting for you so these basic concepts of networking this um, we will just go through these basic concepts of networking you have to be aware of all those concepts ok children so let us move on to this particular chapter of further talk in this particular session. Last class we have seen about the types of networks that is personal area network, local area network. In this class we shall see about the cluster area network, metropolitan area network and wide area network. These three types of networks and about the few of the networking devices we will be covering in this particular session. A brief recap on PAN and LAN that is personal area network. This personal area network covers a small area of about 10 meters about 30 feet is not it? It is used for communication among devices such as laptop, mobile phones, PDA or among devices, smartphones. Okay. So, personal area network can either be wired or wireless. It can be wired avam, wireless avam and it is used to transfer files, digital photos, music, Bluetooth is an example of personal area network. We have covered this personal area network last class. It covers an area of just 10 meters that is about 30 feet. Bluetooth is an example of personal area network where you can share different files, photos, music through Bluetooth that is personal area network and about the local area network it is two or more computers and peripheral devices are connected within a small area such as room, office building, room or office building cover in another land type of network ok. So, in this term, a term physically connected with wires the data transmission speed is slow as compared to van even the data transmission speed van de column slow on a very slow on a it can be controlled and administered by a single person or organization that is about the local area network it covers a very small geographical area of his, like a school or a room or a office building ok so that that comes under local area network the data transmission speed is very slow as compared to wide area network now let us move further to these three topics on scan type of network, man type of network and van. Ok children. CAN is also known as cluster area network or campus area network. It is a network comprising a series of small lands over a small geographical area such as a college campus. One college campus is the three small geographical area covering another CAN type of network. 
series of small lands oru vaadu lands land computers connect edittu oru small geographical area il operate cheyina network aanu campus area network also known as cluster area network this network covers an area smaller than man metropolitan area network ee network man the band area that is man metropolitan area network ne range ne kaalum smaller area il aanu cover cheyina the network operate cheyina network aanu cluster area network also known as campus area network can covers a large university school or a small business it can be taken as a metropolitan network that are specific settings in a small area just like a computer lab at the university covers a large university or a large university cover in that one can type of network where different schools or different colleges are connected to that particular university and that in that uni that university has been operated by the can type of network schools thamil along small businesses thamil connect in a type of network aanu can type of cluster network cluster area network computer lab at the university university lab le kore computers ingane connect idirikkum pala colleges um aa university le connect idengina pala colleges um pala information um share cheyanadu through can type of network okay this is an example of campus area network shown here the college is being connected to the library as well as the hostel all these uh, cam campus area network where the data will be shared in from the college to the hostel as well as to the library you can see the example over here okay next comes the metropolitan area network man metropolitan area network is a large network than lan local area network na kaalum korchum kuda larger network aanu man it is spread across a city city il operate cheyina type of network aanu metropolitan area network personal area just 10 meters okke ullu local area korchum kuda oru room or office building or campus o angane irikkum local area cluster area also so small geographical area cover cheyanadana that is um, university uh, university and college um, will cover cheyana area aanu cluster area this man type of network covers an area of few 100 kilometers in a city 100 kilometers in a range il cover cheyana type of network aanu metropolitan area network the most common example of man type work is the cable television branches of local bank in a city etc are the examples of metropolitan area network okay cable television um branches of local bank city il a pala branches bank il ulla pala branches um a or ningalku type of network is all comes under metropolitan area network man type of network is applicable for a group of schools pala school la branches namile type of network man we type of network operate cheyan pattum banks pala different branches of banks or government offices within a city it is often used to connect in number of lands oru vaad lands ingane connect edittu type of networking aanu man type of network This type of network is used to connect computers at different offices of an organization in the same city. Same city le pala offices or organization de pala pala offices kaanu. Okay, different different organization or organization de pala office um pala different city le pala salathu varikum. Appo adile connect cheyan venditte we use what type of network? Metropolitan area network. Okay. a government organization in the same city that's an example of metropolitan area network next comes about the wide area network this kind of network connects two or more computers located at distant places far away places from countries to countries from across the world it is being used 
So, the best example is telecommunication facilities of this is being used of wide area network. E distant places like connected and they are linked by communication facilities like telecommunication or satellite signals and fiber optic. Otherwise, link is distant places to connect the amenity we use so and so link that is telecommunication or satellite signals or fiber optic or you see the connect the amenity. The most common example of WAN type of network is the telecommunication system. The best example of WAN type of network is the teleca telecommunication system. Using this telecommunication system, you can speak to anyone across the world, in different countries, different continents, different states, in far away distant places. You can communicate through this telecommunication system that comes in a wide area network. The usage of WAN is limited to very large organizations and government agencies. Large organizations and government agencies in the middle operate in a type of network is wide area network. Okay, children. So, this wide area network is used to connect various cities in a country or across the world. This type of network has Connectivity spread over large geographical areas from country to country as I told you different continents the transmission of data takes place through satellites and the I will tell you more about WAN it has two primary functions that is the wide area network has two primary functions it allows people who are at distant places to share common information whatever the common information you want to share to distant places WAN type of network can be used. To let them send messages to each other. Pala messages far away distant places. We can use this wide area network. So, this is made possible using commonly available communication media that is telephone. Telephone worry, Namakapala alcohol message I can. And we can share the common information, we can speak to anyone throughout the world. Example of van can be seen in many branches of a bank, each connected to a van so that the branches may share the common information and centrally stored data that is wide area network. Internet any network by connecting two or more networks. You can see many different lands being connected to a van to share the information to distant places, far away places. Many lands are being connected here and to share the distant uh, to share information at far away places this wide area network is used the most example of wide area network is a telecommunication system the best examples of van are internet and intranet in a large multinational company atm facility national and multinational bank customer services all these are the examples of van internetum intranetum multinational company e, e rendered, uh, rendered networking UCM ATM facility that can be used throughout the world that is also an example of WAN national and multinational bank customer services also are the examples of WAN now you children you must be wondering what this is this internet and intranet ok internet everybody knows it is accessed globally throughout the world and what is this intranet I will just tell you about this internet and intranet differences in the coming slide. This internet and intranet, internet is a global communication access through the web. Intranet is a shared content access by members within a single organization. It is, this internet is a global communication access throughout the world. Everybody knows that, isn't it? But intranet is suppose a single organization la ulla members in a matram accessible in a intranet. Shared content accessed by members within a single organization. Whichever organization is using this intranet, only those members can use that intranet. Others can't use that. It is applicable to only those members who are using that intranet. It is a global network of computers, servers or clients 
to exchange information whatever the information can be shared globally throughout the world through this internet an internal company network that uses internet standards html http tcp slash ip protocol and software this is an internal company network that uses the internet standards internal company le aa company le internal light work work cheynadana intranet using these internet standards pala uh, different protocol html standards ubeyche and software use idana use idana aan intranet internet provides services like email online chatting e education teleconferencing file sharing e commerce etc idella share cheyan pattunnathu devices aanu internet email um online way chat cheyanum e education um teleconferencing file share cheyanum e commerce um idella cheyan pattunnathu internet le companies use internet intranet to share files and utilize website to collaborate ആ ഒരു ഇൻട്രാനെറ്റ് ആ കമ്പനീസിൽ ആരാണ് ഓപ്പറേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആ ആ ഒരു ഇൻട്രാനെറ്റ് എടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നത് അവരുടെ ആ ഫയൽസ് മാത്രം ഷെയർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നതാണ് ഇൻട്രാനെറ്റ് അത് അത് ഇസ് അപ്ലിക്കബിൾ ടു ഓൺലി ടു ദോസ് മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഹു ആർ യൂസിങ് ദിസ് ഇൻട്രാനെറ്റ് നോട്ട് ടു എനിബഡി എൽസ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദോസ് മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ക്യാൻ ഷെയർ ദ ഫയൽസ് ആൻഡ് യൂട്ടിലൈസ് ദ വെബ്സൈറ്റ് ടു കൊലാബറേറ്റ് യൂട്ടിലൈസ് ദ കെൻ യൂസ് ദ വെബ്സൈറ്റ് ടു share that word files and information among the different branches it has unlimited number of users internet le or wide number of users unde as it is used globally throughout the world it has limited number of users it is limited alkare kanulu because only those members of the particular organization can use that internet not by anybody else whoever is taking this internet only those members can use that internet clear children this is the differences between intra- internet and intranet you can just go through this particular slide pausing next move on we shall move to the networking devices The networking devices are the hardware devices used to connect computers or other electronic devices together in order to share files or resources like printer or fax machines. E networking devices and then are the hardware devices. Are. Okay. Those devices which can be seen, which can be touched, those are hardware devices are used to connect computers. Computers may connect to them and item. പല ഇൻഫർമേഷനും പല ഫയൽസും ഷെയർ ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടും ആൻഡ് പല ഡിവൈസസ് ലൈക്ക് പ്രിൻ്റർ ഫാക്സ് മെഷീൻസ് മോഡേം സി ഡി റൈറ്റർ ഓൾ ദീസ് ക്യാൻ ബി ഷെയർ യൂസിങ് എ യൂസിങ് വെൻ നെറ്റ്വർക്കിംഗ് ഡിവൈസസ് വെൻ ദീസ് നെറ്റ്വർക്കിംഗ് ഡിവൈസസ് ആർ കണക്റ്റഡ് ടു എ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ ദ കൻ ഷെയർ ദ ഫയൽസ് ആൻഡ് റിസോഴ്സസ് ഡേറ്റ ആൻഡ് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഓൾ the the hardware devices like printer fax machine cd writer modem all this can be shared if they are connected using this using these networking devices these devices work are at different segments of a computer network performing different task e devices different segments of a computer network le connect cheedirikkum to perform different task different task perform ya vendi oro device um pala task perform eyum so they are being connected at different segments of a computer network computer segments ne connect cheedirikkum to perform different task now let's learn about few of the networking devices the devices which we are going to learn are few of the networking devices are modem hub switch repeater network interface card and router these are the following devices which we'll be learning for this particular session i'll just cover about modem hub and switch and the next three devices like repeater network interface card and router we'll be covering in the next class okay children we shall see about in this class we shall see about modem hub and switch
so children let's see about the first networking device modem a modem enables you to connect your computer to the available internet connection over the existing telephone lines ningada computer lote connect you to get the internet connection over the existing telephone lines okay internet connection vari kittum ningada computer le connect idirikkum engane connect iya through telephone lines it converts the digital signals of a computer to analog signals to enable their transmission via phone telephone lines okay that is digital signals of a computer as you all know computer understands only digital signals that is in the binary state in the form of zeros and ones okay so it stores whatever the data we are doing in the, in a particular system it stores it in the form of digital signals okay our computer digital signals na computer lote telephone vari transfer cheyanengil it transfers this modem transfers the digital signals into analog signals to enable the transmission via telephone lines got it analog signals is audio frequency signals okay our digital signals ne analog signals lo to convert them to enable the transmission via telephone lines or tel telephone lines while transfer yan vendittu it converts the digital to analog first at the destination that is our modem ed computer lo to transfer yana data transmission nadathandathu our computer lo to our destination point le the receiving modem further converts the analog signal into digital signals so that the data can be understood at the receiving end first digital signals lo analog lo to convert it and then this analog is being converted again to digital signals okay then only it can be transmitted at the receiving end ed computer lo ta ningal data transmission nadakkanathu aa data transmission vera computer lo ta ettan vendittu aadyam digital signals ne analog lo ta aakum because it is connected via telephone lines so phone vari connect cheyanengile it has to transfer through audio frequency signals okay that is analog signals and again tirichu computer lo ta kittunathu enginaana ee analog signals ne pine digital lo ta aakanam then only it can be received at the receiving end that is the computer ed computer lo ta data transmission nadathunathu adu in the form of digital kittiyale it can understand the computer understands only digital signals isn't it so it uh, it transfers the analog signals to digital signals at the destination computer where it it is being transferred okay children i'll just show you through an example here here it is being connected the modem is being connected to a computer okay the computer stores data in the form of digital form and when it is this modem is connected to a computer ee data transmission ee computer ne ee computer lote transfer cheyan vendittu the modem transfers the digital signal into analog signals that is through telephone lines the first it transfers the digital signals to analog signals that is audio frequency signals and from this analog signals to back to digital signals because the computer understands only digital signals at the receiving end a receiving end le computer ne digital signals mathram manasilavu manasilavunadana so in order to get the output as digital signals it is it will transfer the analog signals back to digital signals in the computer to the computer where it is being connected got it children so a modem is a device that makes it possible for computers to communicate over telephone lines the word modem comes from modulate and demodulate modem links your home network to the internet through your internet service provider ningada home network internet connection node le kittanengile internet service provider vai link cheyum it converts digital signals of a computer to analog signals so that they can travel over telephone line digital lot analog aadyam convert cheyum 
so that they can transfer or transfer over travel over telephone line at the destination the receiving modem converts the analog signals back to digital form e computer e data ingotu ivada kittanengile pinne analog digital lotu convert cheyanam modem comes in many shapes and sizes you all know hope you have understood this and digital to analog and analog to digital so children modems are available in two categories internal modem and external modem an internal modem comes as a separate part that is installed on the pci peripheral component interconnect interconnect slots available on the motherboard so this is the peripheral motherboard in the interconnect slots le available in another modem ana internal modem that is installed on the pci that is peripheral component interconnect slot motherboard le or slot le insert cheyanadana e internal modem there is also an external modem which i'll be showing you in the next slide external modem is connected externally to a computer this this is a picture of an external modem you all know about this external modem isn't it so internal modem and external modem internal modem is connected through pci that is peripheral component interconnect slots available on the motherboard when the hub receives data at one of its ports edingil oru portil data receive cheyumbo it distributes the data to other ports connected to the computer in the network okay ore port il add or data where device node transmit cheyan vendi to i hub in a data kittiyengi a data packet kittiyengile adu immediately ella ports num distribute cheyanadana hub it is distributes the data it receives to all the connected ports so a hey, hub is a communication device it sends data to the network the hub hub simply forwards the data to all other computers connected to it whatever data it receives through through its one of its ports it simply forwards the data to all the ports connected to it okay ella data ed port la receive ena baaki ulla ports lot ad immediately transfer cheyanadana hub next move on we shall move to the next networking device called switch switches contain many ports to connect different network segments okay it contains many ports to connect different network segments na connect cheyan vendite oru vaad ports kaanu they are similar to hub but offer greater performance hub ne pole same aayirikum pakshe korchum kooda greater performance kittunathu switch laanu okay it contains many ports to connect different network segments but they have similar to hub but offer greater performance why are switches needed they are needed instead of hubs to maintain the speed of communication between devices hub ne pagaram endinaan ee switch ubeykunne to maintain the speed of communication between devices devices thamle the data transmission pala files transfer cheyanum paladum information share cheyanum okke fast aayittu speed aayittu transfer cheyan vendittu we use this switches they are needed instead of hubs to maintain the speed of communication between devices switch is also aware of the address assigned to each of its ports and sends the incoming data it receives only to the intended port e switch in a endellam addresses a or port le connect cheyidirikunu it is aware of the addresses aware of the addresses assigned to each of its ports oro port le address the switch is aware about that and sends the incoming data it receives whatever the data packet the switch is receiving it transfers the data only to that particular system where it has to be transferred not to any any other system 
ഏത് സിസ്റ്റത്തിലോട്ടാ ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആ ഒരു സിസ്റ്റം ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് അവിടെ മാത്രം ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യേണ്ടതാണ് സ്വിച്ച് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഡസ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ടു എനി അതർ ഇന്റൻഡഡ് പോർട്ട് ഇന്റൻഡഡ് സിസ്റ്റത്തിലോട്ട് കണക്ട് ചെയ്യണത് അത് ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യാത്തതാണ് സ്വിച്ച് സോ ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് ടെൽ യു റീ ക്യാപ്പ് അബൌട്ട് ദ സ്വിച്ച് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഡിവൈസ് യൂസ് ടു കണക്ട് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് സ്വിച്ച് സെൻസ് ദ ഇൻകമിംഗ് ഡേറ്റ ഇൻ ടു ദ ഡിസയർ ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷൻ ഓൺലി ആ ഇൻകമിംഗ് ഡേറ്റ സ്വിച്ചിനകത്ത് കിട്ടുന്നത് ആ ഒരു ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷനിലോട്ട് ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യണത് മാത്രം ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് സ്വിച്ച് ഇറ്റ് റെക്കോർഡ്സ് ദി അഡ്രസ്സസ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ ദി കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് കണക്റ്റഡ് ടു ഇറ്റ് എല്ലാ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടറിന്റെ അഡ്രസ്സും അത് റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്ത് വെക്കേണ്ടതാണ് സ്വിച്ച് ഓക്കെ എല്ലാ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടറിന്റെ അഡ്രസ് ഈ സ്വിച്ച് റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്ത് വെക്കും ആൻഡ് വെൻ എ പാക്കറ്റ് ഇസ് റിസീവ് ദ സ്വിച്ച് റീഡ് ദ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ അബൌട്ട് ദ ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷൻ അഡ്രസ് ടു ഡിറ്റർമൈൻ ഇഫ് ദ ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷൻ ഡിവൈസ് ഇസ് കണക്റ്റഡ് ടു ഇറ്റ് ഓർ നോ ഒരു പാക്കറ്റ് ഈ സ്വിച്ച് റിസീവ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ it reads information about the destination address ed computer lota transfer cheyandathu it reads the information the switch reads information about the destination address and sees that if the destination device is connected to not our destination ed system lota transfer cheyandathu our destination address connect cheyirikkuno illey nu adu adyam check cheyum if the destination device is connected the switch forward the packet only to the destination device our destination device the port le connect idirikkanengil it forward packet only to that particular system or to that particular destination device where it is being connected okay hub and the it transfers all the packets which is which it is being received to all the ports it to all the connected ports isn't it but switch what does the switch do it translate to the intended port where it has to be ട്രാൻസ്ഫേർഡ് ഏത് ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് പോർട്ടിലോട്ടാണ് അത് ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് അവിടേക്ക് മാത്രം ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യണതാണ് സ്വിച്ച് ഹബ് എല്ലാത്തിലും ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യും എല്ലാ പോർട്ടിലും ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യും ബട്ട് സ്വിച്ച് ട്രാൻസ്ഫേഴ്സ് ഓൺലി ടു ദി ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ ഓർ ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ഓർ വിച്ച് വിച്ച് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ടു ബി ട്രാൻസ്ഫേർഡ് നോട്ട് ടു എനി അതർ സിസ്റ്റം ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ബേസിക് ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഹബ് ആൻഡ് സ്വിച്ച് സോ താങ്ക് യു ചിൽഡ്രൻ Thank you for being with me. Do the worksheet which will be sent to you through PDF. <laughs>